this is an update from BCC the community center coming up in Tamil Nadu on April 20th of 2008 we started constructing our third water harvesting pond exclusively for drinking water needs this pond is approximately 150 feet long by about 50 feet wide and 18 feet deep most of the deep digging work was done by JCB machines doing this manually is not feasible the JCB machines need smaller trailers to haul the excavated soil a JCB machine in this part of India rents for about rupees 650 per hour and the three trailers one one trailer at a time rents for about 350 rupees per day sometimes night work is possible also this picture gives you the depth of the pond relative to the, the height of a person you should build one brick wall all around the pond at percent uh, to to prevent soil erosion and caving but we couldn't do it last year because the rains came uh, quite quickly next time it uh, when the water is empty in the pond we will build a brick wall we have used the indian weather satellite uh, quite often the clouds always seem to come from uh, the singapore side and go towards africa and whenever they turn around towards india they bring some rain to us we received our major rain in the last week of october in just simple two days uh, the two ponds were completely full and the excess water was overflowing to the next village in this one pond alone we have close to three million liters of uh, pure rainwater in early december we took a sample of this water to iit madras to have it checked completely the result showed a high amount of turbidity and some higher levels of fluorides and those two were quickly taken care of through simple techniques and we have a complete results available to you we realize the testing of water is quite complicated initially we are working with a simple bio sand filter uh, given to us by Don foundation of Madurai and we are installing it at uh, one of the two villages where we have been working for the last uh, two months the local higher secondary school attracts students from a range of uh, some 10 to 15 kilometers and so we are hoping to uh, reach out to some of these villages by asking the students to bring a sample of water and uh, get it tested in their uh, school uh, directly in the next few slides we'll describe what we are doing in terms of specific projects in uh, two or three neighboring villages in our uh, region the first village so far we have uh, supported a very small project to make some repairs on the inlet to the water flows <laughs> in our second village we arranged with Don foundation to do a project and lifting all the uh, greenery all the thorn bushes and then making sure that the capacity of the uh, water pond was uh, raised completely in a third village we were pr informing the people about a program called the RTI which uh, essentially tells the, the villagers how much money the government has for them in various programs but the villages are 
In mid-September, Professor P. V. Inderesan, a past director of IIT Matras, visited us in the uh, community center.